to my channel. It's your girl J. It's your boy Ziki Ziki. And we are going to be making a video about thumbnails. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification and comment in my videos. All right, guys. So, what are thumbnails? Thumbnails are basically like a cover picture. Thumbnails will make your video literally capture the Hi. viewer's attention. With this thumbnail, you will be able to attract all those viewers and make them click on your video because they were attracted by that thumbnail. So we want to be very precise. We want to be very creative. We want to accentuate our thumbnail. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay guys, so here I'm gonna start with the photo gallery. You click that edit option. You go to the third one to your right, which is the filters. I like to go for the vivid filter, which is the second or third one. Yeah, second one that you click to your right. After that, you apply that filter. And you press done. And then I like to crop it because I'm going to focus on my thumbnail. So I'm going to make that picture smaller and just crop out the rest and just go for my face and my fingers so I can have enough space so I can add that text. After that, I click done. And my picture now is cropped to that area that I want it to be. <clears throat> And then it's saved. So after that, you take it to Fonto. Once you're here, you click that camera icon. You upload your picture from your photo album for you guys. Click the picture. You basically tap. When you're done with that picture that you want, you click done. You click anywhere in the area of the picture that you want to add the text. Go here. You put quick and fast. Click done. You move it around to where you want it. I want it here. Then you're going to get this little toolbar here. You're going to click text. If you want to change the text, you can do to the font and change it to bold, change it to cursive. Um, after that, you can align it in the center if that's what you want. Um, you can click font, blah, blah, blah. You can click text. If you want that size, if you want to increase the size, um, you can also click style. If you want to add a background color, we're going to do a pink background color and then press done. And then you can also tilt it if you want to like tilt it. If no, bring it back. And then if you want to move it, you have these kind of things here. You can move it. Um, if you want to go to this little arrow, you can curve it. If you want to curve that like I did in one of my other videos. Or curve it that way, whatever you like. I'm going to bring it back. If you want a 3D, you have to actually buy that one. But we're not going to do that. So yeah, so that's basically how you do that part. Afterwards, guys, you click here on this, on your right hand. There's like a square and an arrow going up. And you save the image or save it as a PNG. I like to just save it in my images and then it's saved. Okay guys, so you go to Canva website, you search on that search little area, um, YouTube thumbnails. It will already set the ratio of that template for the thumbnail so you don't have to worry about cropping it you don't have to worry about any of that so you go and search for the templates they have a bunch of templates some of them are free some of them you have to pay for it and if you don't pay for it but there's gonna have there's gonna be like the logo of canva there so you know it's a hit or miss so pick one of those once you decide then you continue 
Okay, once you decide the template that you want, it always takes me a long time to decide, but once you decide, you have the template, you can change the fonts on the bottom, you can add text or customize the text with the different fonts and everything like that. I put New York City, it's a New York City template, and this one has the Canva because it's one of those paid ones, it's not a free one, and I am from New York so i just picked this one for the purpose of the video you can go at the bottom and set transition times and stuff like that um you can change the photo color if you want to do that also that would change the background color but we're going to keep it to the picture or the image that is there as my background you can flip there's a whole bunch of settings you can do if that's what you guys want to do and just customize your thumbnail you can upload a picture by clicking that upload little icon and you click photos you go to uploads and then you go from your device photo library and you search for the one that you want and then <clears throat> you click it and then you resize it and put it in the area that you think fits best. After that, guys, you can just reorganize the little things like the letters, anything else you want to add in there. After you're done customizing, then you go to the upper right hand corner where there's like a little box and an arrow up and you click download. That's the suggested. Um, I switch it from the MP4 to usually a JPEG or a PNG. This time we're going to go with a, a PNG. From here, I like to just blow it up a little bit and I just do a screenshot. And after I do that screenshot... I save it and I crop it to that small little ratio and then usually this is good enough to meet the requirements for the thumbnail when I upload it to YouTube. So